hello students welcome back let's have a look at the next question so the next question is a numerical from electricity chapter and it goes like this two led bulbs of 12 watt and 6 watt are connected in series if the current through 12 watt bulb is 0.06 ampere the current through the 6 watt bulb will be so here we have a connection in series in which there are two led bulbs so this is one bulb and this is the other bulb which are connected in series so here we have a diagram so one bulb is 12 watt and another one is 6 watt they are connected in series now the current flowing through the 12 watt bulb so in this circuit the current through the 12 watt bulb is 0.06 ampere okay so i is 0.06 ampere we are asked to find out the current through the 6 watt bulb now in series we know the same current flows through the whole circuit so if the current through the 12 watt bulb will be 0.06 ampere the current through the 6 watt bulb also will be 0.06 ampere but the voltage across both the resistors will be different remember in a series circuit the current remains the same through the resistors but the voltage across each resistor varies i hope you have understood this was a simple question let's go to the next question so the next question we have is an alpha particle enters a uniform magnetic field as shown the direction of force experienced by the alpha particle is towards right towards left into the page out of the page so this question we will solve it using fleming's left hand rule so for easier understanding of the question let us see the fleming's left hand rule so here we have fleming's left hand rule that this is the direction of the magnetic field you see magnetic field is from left to right and here we have the magnetic field which is from left to right that is indicated by our forefinger now alpha particle is a positively charged particle so the direction of current so if this direction is the magnetic field the direction of current is in the downward direction that is along the direction of motion of the alpha particle so here we have the direction of current so this is i that is the motion of the alpha particle okay then if these two if the forefinger points towards the uh, right side and the current is flowing downwards then if we compare it with fleming's left hand rule we see the thumb which represents the direction of motion is pointing towards us so it is out of the paper so if you see it in 3d you can correlate it with your hand and you see that it would be pointing out of the plane of paper or it would be pointing outside outwards so this would be the direction of force or motion that is out of the paper so the correct answer is option d i hope you have understood it let's go to the next question so the next question is a numerical from electricity it says the resistance of a resistor is reduced to half of its initial value if other parameters of the electrical circuit remains unaltered the amount of heat produced in the resistor will become four times two times half and one fourth so here we have a circuit in which there is a resistor there is a source of potential and the voltage in the circuit is v and the resistance of this resistor is r now the amount of heat produced in this circuit is given by three equations what are they h is equal to vit h is equal to i square rt and h is equal to v square by r into t now though there are three equations we will use this equation for this question why because you see here the other factors are current okay here current and time now current is a factor which we do not change initially because when we give the when we connect a circuit the parameters which we add initially are the potential difference and the resistors which we connect in the circuit depending upon the resistance and the voltage supplied the amount of current in the circuit 
varies so the parameters which we add initially are voltage and resistance depending upon that the current will vary so here we are not changing because you see in the question it's written the other parameters of the electrical circuit remains unaltered that means we have to fix it we will not change it so what will happen the resistor is changing there is value of resistance is changing so we will change this resistance but other parameter that is the voltage we will keep it fixed so depending upon that how will the current vary and depending upon the amount of current the amount of heat will change the heat produced based upon the parameters that we use will be satisfied with this equation so we will have to use this equation so this in this case the heat is given by h is equal to v square by r into t now what's happening what's the condition given that the resistance is reduced to half of its initial value so in this circuit the resistance the will be reduced to half so new resistance r dash will be half but it's saying that the other parameter will remain constant that means v we have to keep it constant so we write down this new heat the amount of heat which will change or which will be produced after we reduce the resistance would be given by h dash will be equal to v square by r into t but let us give this equation equation 1 h is equal to v square by r into t so here it will be v square by r dash so new resistance is r dash so r dash is nothing but r by 2 because the resistance is reduced to half into t so h dash will be 2 v square by r into t okay so h dash will be 2 times what is v square by r into t it is nothing but h so it is i write here h so your new heat will be 2h that is the heat produced will be doubled so heat produced will be doubled so this is the solution to this question that it will be two times i hope you have understood this so thanks for watching